Hey up everyone, welcome to the Rugby League History Channel. Tonight I'm going to be doing the thoughts and the review on the new Huddersfield Giants logo. Now they've done this logo the other day, they've released it. There's been a mixed response by the fans but I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. Before I get into the video, thank you to everyone that subscribed to my channel. We got to our goal of 350 subscribers by the end of November with a week to spare. So thanks very much for everyone that's just joined the channel. And uh, thank you to everyone that supported me from the start. Now getting back to this new logo, they released it the other day. A mixed response by the fans. When I first saw it, I went, uh, I'm not too sure about this logo. Now, as we all know, Huddersfield Giants have had the same logo for a few years now, which has been this one. Sorry for the cracked phone, by the way. So that's the one that we're all used to seeing. That's, all, that's the one that we all know. And then the other day, they released this one. So this is their new logo. It's uh, basically it just says Giants with ED95 on it. Um, my thoughts on the logo are I'm not particularly happy that Huddersfield's chosen to drop the name from the logo and they've also gotten rid of the base place of Rugby League. I think both having Huddersfield and the base place of Rugby League on there was a good thing. I think with this new logo what they're trying to do is they're trying to get in, into a new market they're trying to attract new fans and a new audience and maybe by dropping the Huddersfield name from the logo they think that they might get extra fans by doing that but I'm not too sure about that. All the clubs have tried it in the past and they've either reverted back to the old logo where they, they've gone to a newer logo where they've reverted back to the club name on the badge. Um, it's the right colour. I'm not really impressed with the with the diamond that they've done i think it should have been more of a square thing because the the g and the s on the the giants is cut off a little bit and then the 1895s kind of it looks like a bit cut off they've kept the giant but i i think the the giant on the old logo was was better it was it was better drawn and it, it looked better um i think Huddersfield what they've done with this logo is that they they've thought okay we're going in a new direction we got a new coach in Ian Watson who's joined from Sulfan. We're going to try to get some new fans. We're going to try to get back up the table and try to be successful and I think this is part of this new logo. Um, would I say that it's better than the Wigan and Sulfan logos that have been released? I would say it is. Uh, the Wigan one looks like the Costa Coffee logo and the Sulfan one I don't know what the fuck they were thinking about that like because it, it's shite. I've said it's shite. There's been a couple of people that see I should grow up and that's um, it's the new logo is good well these are my videos this is my opinion and I think both those logos are shite but this one this one's passable maybe if I was a Salford fan I might uh, I'm sorry a Huddersfield fan I might have had a different opinion but as a neutral I think it's an all right logo I think it might hang around to maybe one or two yeah and they'll eventually go back to another logo that will see Huddersfield on it Anyways, everyone, that's me thoughts on the new Huddersfield Giants logo. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you like the new logo? Or uh, are you someone that likes the old logos and the old style? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure that you like it. And also, if you haven't yet subscribed, please click that subscribe button. And, a thank, and once again, thank you to everyone that helped me get to 350 subs. Thanks very much. Anyways... I'm going to get out of here and I hope you all enjoy your Saturday or Sunday. Alright, catch us all here. Tie bye.